Welcome back folks to Let's Play Project Zero. When we last left off, uh, Koji made me shit myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I apologize for that reaction. <laughs> That's probably going to happen a few times, just to pre-warn you. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, it's another tape. A red one. Uh, usually that means uh, someone else is going to be speaking, so on this tape, it won't be Koji. Let's take a look. September 10th, 10.20 a.m. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist's children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old, and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Okay, so that was Tomoe. Uh, she mentions there that she found some photos of kids playing tag. Uh, this is actually one of the rituals performed at this mansion, which we'll probably learn more about later. And uh, she also mentioned that Koji took notes, but uh, I don't think we found those yet. Oh, maybe this is the note. Oh, it's a red notebook. Okay, so basically, uh, I think that notebook belongs belongs to uh, Tomoe, uh, Mr. Takamine's uh, assistant. She basically says that uh, a folklorist was uh, doing research in the mansion, and she asked uh, Koji if he could find said research. And this door's nailed shut. It's kind of small. Hmm. Wonder what's on the other side. Anyway, let's go back out into the hallway. Or rather, back out into the previous room. Okay, where haven't I been yet? Uh, I could go back into that corridor. Or into this one. I don't think we've been through that back uh, door either. Let's try that one first. The one on the opposite side of this room. Behind this big screen here. Okay, and we're out onto a balcony. Level mm. medicine, that was good. Uh, can you guys see that shadow? Yeah, there's like a shadow in the window frame there. It looks, looks like a person, maybe wearing a kimono. Uh, wearing a kimono. Mm, that always keeps coming up. A woman in a kimono. Okay, so that was a bust. Uh, looks like we're going to go back the way I came and maybe see if we can get up those stairs. Down those stairs. Whatever. Oh, this is the way I came. No, let's uh, let's go back. <laughs> yeah, it looks 
so we're gonna go this way. Is there anything in this closet? Nope, that one's empty. Fair enough. Okay, we've just spotted our first glimpse of Tomoe. <laughs> yeah, so I mentioned this in the last video. Koji, Koji had a rope mark around his neck, and it looks like they're starting to show on Tomoe. Hmm, that could be ominous. Another notebook scrap. <laughs> yeah, uh, long story short there, Tomoe is very scared of this mansion, and I don't blame her. Okay, why did the camera pan to that window there? Is there anything in here? Mm, just looks like a little alcove. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Strange for the camera to do that. Anyway, what do we have here? More medicine. This door's stuck. Looks like we're gonna have to go downstairs. Ooh, cutscene. Fight. Okay, this is the long armed man. And yeah, because of his long arms, he has incredible range, so I really need to stay back here. Also, that swaying back and forth he does. Yeah, that swaying back and forth that he does. Uh, that's really messing with my camera shots there. Okay, we're going to see that guy a few times. Um, if I remember rightly, the long-armed man tried to live in this mansion after the head of the family killed everyone off. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you could hear that. He kept saying, give it back. Not quite sure what he means by that. Uh, maybe we'll find out later. Okay. Oh, there's a shrine on the wall up there. Can we examine it? No. Okay. Let's see if we can get through this door then. Hmm, 
and the window's nailed shut. And I left something behind in that area. Let's take a look. Ah, another of Tanoe's notebooks. Yeah, that's just uh, mentioning that uh, Tomoe has seen the uh, the woman in the white kimono. Some more film, excellent. sacred water that's basically your uh, uber healing item uh, it will completely fill your health okay someone's wrapped hair around the door handle strange nice pick is that really a thing? Books written in rice paper? Seems like it'd be a bit fragile. Okay, so that mentioned one of the another one of the rituals, the rope shrine maiden. Uh, basically, her arms, legs, and neck are all tied up, much like uh, we saw with Koji and Tomoe there. But um, nobody knows why. Hmm. And a theory is that she's a sacrifice of some sort. Maybe we'll find out more details. Oh, we have a fight on our hands. Yeah, I remember this ghost. It's one of the few that actually fly. It's really annoying. Looks like an old lady. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try that door again, because I think at some point you'll fight that ghost and you'll be able to get out. No, not yet. I could be wrong, I honestly can't remember how you open that door, but you but it will open. You need something to maybe cut the hair or burn it or something. Anyway, back into the last room. the staircase I came down. Hmm, there's a crevice in the wall here. Okay, that's not ominous at all. Oh, a news article. Yeah, that's a missing persons case. Four children have gone missing. Oh, 
I have a clue. It's on the other side of that screen there. What's all this? Ah, some actual uh, historical texts here. Torn apart. Okay, that is really ominous. That's, uh... Yeah, torn apart. I think I know what the strangling ritual is now. So, uh, let's keep moving anyway. Oh, to my way. Hmm. Trying to say something important, eh? There's another two of Moe's notebooks. So the woman in the white kimono everyone's been talking about, her name is Kyrie. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so Tomoe has seen this girl and her, her name is Kyrie. Okay, the clue is against that door there. Looks like we're going to have to do the thing with the lion mask again. Oh, spirit stone. Excellent. What do we have here? Okay, there's a talisman on the door. Okay. So we're looking for some kind of storage room here. Can anyone see that, like, misty? thing over the chest of drawers it kind of looks like a face just a little bit like the nose and mouth there Let's see if we can find that storage room then okay, let's try this door Save point. Some medicine. I'm getting a lot of those right lately. And there's a lot of pickups in this area. Oh, a black notebook. That might be someone else's. Yes, right, um, yeah, Junsei and Tomoe found Koji's dead body, and his his limbs and head were all separated, like they'd been strangled off. And Junsei seems to think that it's connected to that uh, Shrine Maiden ritual. I have a feeling he's right. Let's keep going. What's this on the floor here? No, I wanted to examine what was on the floor, but whatever. Hmm. So the crest on this door's broken, so we can't open it. That's a shame. What's this on the floor? No, I want to examine what's on the floor, please. Thank you. Five stone document. Ah, that must be a clue as how to open the door. We need these five stones. Five. That's gonna take some time. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, I've got my headphones in, and I heard somebody say something there. I don't know if you guys heard it, but they just sent a chill down my spine there. 
someone here. I'm just going to fill the silence here. I'm not quite sure why in this region, or the, the PAL regions, that this game is called Project Zero rather than Fatal Frame, which is its American name. Fatal Frame seems more, more fitting than Project Zero. Maybe it was a working title, I don't know. Hmm. I'm guessing this is a code of some sort, but... absolutely no idea what this code is and I can't read kanji. If I think this is kanji, I can't read kanji. I know a little bit of um, hiragana, but that's about it. Oh wait, that ritual thing, the, the number on the text was 339, maybe that has something to do with it. 3669, so... No. Maybe we'll find a clue later on. Can't open this door just yet. I know I've been here already. Can't get in there. That door's blocked. Mm. That leads back into the into the hallway. I think we may need to go back upstairs because uh, we need to find that storage room. as well. So where's this storage room? Okay, I just heard someone breathing there. Because that's not ominous at all. Mm. 
Okay, when I heard that breathing, the camera panned over to this chest of drawers, but I can't examine them now. Strange. So there's a library through that door. Doesn't seem to be any other way in. In. And that goes out onto the balcony, so. And if I'm out here too long, I'm going to end up running into another ghost. Let's see if there's anywhere downstairs, like near the entrance. at the stairs. Some more film. All's good. I thought it might have been in this little area, but apparently not. Still nailed shut. Let's try the entrance hall. Okay, yeah, I think I'm stuck. Okay, well let's go back through the door that was behind the folding screen from the beginning and uh, work our way back through, see if we can find anything that way. all the broken screen doors. Let's take a look at the map again. Yeah, I'm really stuck here. Okay, well, uh, let's take a break while I try and uh, figure out where I'm supposed to go now, because I'm stumped. So, uh, see you later, folks.